Hi Cancer and welcome to your July Spiritual Tarot Advice. All decks I'm using are listed in the description box below. Um, this reading is intended to bring you information from your spirit guides as well as look at different um, situations in your life from a more spiritual perspective. So Cancer, let's see what um, energy and guidance your spirit guides are trying to bring to you or bring your attention to in the month of July. All right, so you guys have the family of light. Um, this is a really lovely card. This is letting you know, Cancer, that you are a part of a spiritual family. Um, like think of soul groups okay and for some of you this is letting you know that those family members are very much with you in the non-physical but it's also letting you know that certain relationships either currently in your life or about to come into your life are your soulmate connections your soul family okay um, some of you you're really focused on connecting to your soul group your soul family, whether in the physical or the non-physical realm, okay? But for others of you, where that's not so much um, resonating or speaking because we're all on different spiritual journeys, right? This is letting you know, Cancer, that um, you are very protected in the non-physical realm. There's a, a whole uh, plethora of high vibrating beings that are guiding you, that are sending you love, that send you healing, that send you light, that send you clarity, that keep you going at your lowest moment, that bring you that subtle magic just when you need it the most, okay? This is them coming through saying, Cancer, I'm here with you. You are never alone. You feel us. Yes, we are here with you, okay? Some of you actually feel like when you're in a very low moment, like somebody is stroking your hair, you don't literally feel it. Um, I, I guess maybe you could, but it's like you feel the energy essence of that. Like you feel these energies around you and they are here. They're really trying to build you and expand you, okay? Um, some of you could really be coming into your spirituality in the month of July with this particular card coming out, but... Um, I feel this is more like your spirit guide saying we are here with you through this month of July. So let's see which area of your life they're speaking about, like why they're coming in so strongly. And honestly, if there's like a, a new member of the family that's about to be born in like July or even August because this is 17, so that could be an 8. Um, any baby that's born in July or August within your immediate family is like a soulmate connection to you, okay? Is a part of this family of light. All right, so... Um, we have 8th house energy attached to this family of light. This transformational area of your life is about shared resources and intense emotions. So, Cancer, um, if you are going through any sort of separation, divorce, um, any sort of struggle or battle over inheritance or family property, family money, um, resources that are that you share either with a spouse, a family member, a business partner, anything like that, any sort of trouble you are having in that area of your life in July, know that your family of light is um, there with you. And also, because this is like intense connections, um, 17 and this is the eighth house and I'm talking about August again this comes back to um, the birth of a baby for me I know that's like more fourth house energy but just because of what I'm picking up here 
if there is a baby being born to you, to your um, sibling, to your niece and nephew, like just somebody in your immediate family or a really close best friend, or if you're super spiritual and you have like a soul sister or soul brother and they're about to have a child, like this child is a part of your family of light, okay? You are meant to be in this child's life um, quite significantly either you are a spiritual mentor for them or they're just so damn wise and awakened upon being born that they teach you but it's like this family they are a part of your family of light okay um maybe even anybody that you're connected to that has an august birthday is a part of your family of light like july or august birthday they are like you know incarnate with you and they are part of your soul group. I feel like that's more what this is about, is like your soul group um, and recognizing that. Um, but again, there could be definitely some challenge going on with this eighth house energy and your family of light is saying we're here in the non-physical and in the physical to help support you through this. So let's pull a card to see how your spirit guides are perceiving you through this energy right here. All right, so we have the mother. Um, <laughs> the whole baby thing that I just talked about uh, right here. Also with this, um, anybody with those birthdays in July and, or August, I feel are definitely a part of your family of light. Um, with the mother here, Cancer, this is, could talk about how we're having, um, some sort of intense energy in this eighth house. It could be about, you know, resources, inheritance, you know, something going on with, um, an actual mother, whether you are a mother or it's your mother. Um, for others of you, this is like you coming into the realization of, like you being the divine um, goddess or like the divine god, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, okay? And you are of some higher elevation um, to lead others. Like you are more spiritually wise, more spiritually grown, and you kind of, I don't want to say sit on a throne. I'm just giving that as an example to express what I'm saying. And you are to give this uh, support, this love through your light. So you have like this non-physical family of light supporting you. And now here you are um, giving that to many others in your life, being that support system for all of them as your family of light is a support system for you, okay? And um, you could really be helping people transform their lives or you could be going through an incredible transformation, you know, through the month of July. And it's just, there's a lot of fertility, a lot of creativity um, pulsating through you, whether you realize it or not. And your divine feminine energy is super heightened, which to me is always about nurturing, healing, and new creation, new life, new manifestation. So um, whatever struggles we're having in this eighth house energy, call upon your family of light to help you get through it, okay? So let's see what is going on here. Let's pull some tarot. And some of you just might really need to turn to your divine roots for strength and understanding if you've just been feeling really challenged and um, experiencing some really intense emotions. All right, so we have the Magician, the Queen of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, 
and the five of wands so i definitely a hundred percent see some struggle some fight over um re shared resources like an inheritance um an estate uh, if you and a significant other are like going separate ways, it's like we're battling big time over material items, material goods, like um, it's a fight. And with the Six of Cups here, you know, and this Eighth House, this is you, people that you're very attached to or were very attached to, all right? But it's like we're in battle, we're fighting and we're not getting along we're not agreeing and cancer um this this magician with this uh ace of ace of swords this queen of swords is letting you know that they have your back okay your spirit guides have your back and things can manifest and go in your favor but you've got to make sure that you're you have your mind right and that you're properly grounded um within yourself and you're not focused um just on the material okay you're focused more on um the energy the spiritual and trusting that you know your guides are leading you correctly your family of light has your back so whatever is truly going to play out is going to be in your favor and look this is card four five and six so there's a progression of energy all right um let me just see i I don't know that um, if you're battling over resources or an estate, an inheritance, a property, um, I don't know that you're going to have that solved by the end of July just based on how this ends. It's like there could be an agreement, a compromise right here, but somebody's not happy about it, okay? It's like what's being offered is no, that's not what I want. Um, that's just not even going to work for me. So, let me just see, because the eighth house is more than just shared resources, right? It's an intense emotions. And what I see is just like there's this, if this is not about resources, there's a struggle between you and somebody else who is very significant. It could be your mother, it could be your child, it could be your partner. Um, it's like whoever it is, is incredibly significant to you because if they weren't, they wouldn't show up in that eighth house, not at all. If it's just somebody that you don't like or don't care for, they're not gonna show up there. This is somebody who is very significant and important to you and I think um, maybe they've been trying to take advantage of you and you are aware of that, like you really see that and it hurts you, it bothers you, it puts you in a place of conflict, all right? And you're just not sure what to do because on one hand you're like, you're just using me or you don't really care about me, but on the other hand you feel this deep spiritual soul connection and love to that other person which therefore puts you in an internal conflict, okay? And your family of light is saying, open up to me, Cancer. I will protect you. I will guide you. I will show you what you need to do. I just think many of you are uh, very caught up in your heads. And that's why you haven't, that's why we're in conflict here. And so your family of light is coming down and coming in to help you understand but you know they can only speak to you through the spirit right so you've got to get out of your head and get back into the core essence of who you are an empress energy where you're very grounded and empowered within yourself so that you can be open to their guidance alright so let's see what your advice is all right, so we have abundance. Yeah, some of you, it's just like a battle over assets, property, money, inheritance, something. Um, I am grateful. Oops. I am grateful for the abundance nature and the universe provide in my life. Cancer. If you're struggling financially, if you're fighting over resources, um, if you're 
trying to leave somebody but you feel like you can't because you can't financially handle it or you feel like somebody's only with you because they couldn't financially handle being without you this is the universe saying hey cancer you need to focus on abundance that you do have you need to count your blessings every single day pay attention to what is working for you the abundance that is present you know the food that you eat the bed that you sleep in even if you feel like everything's being taken away and maybe some of you just based on this reading have lost quite a bit trust that your family of light has got your back okay some of you with this family of light it's telling you to reach out to like a church um, a, relig a religious organization some sort of charity that might be able to help you out all right if you feel any if you see any sort of sign or synchronicity for that and you're um, in a struggle follow through with that because that's your spirit guides trying to lead you to the abundance that you need to get by that you need that you're seeking okay for others of you it's saying you know because here she's pregnant the pregnant mother it's like maybe all of this is not settled in July but there is uh, abundance coming to you like in August okay it's like the resources the settlement all of that coming to cancer in August and it's just you know getting through July and understanding the struggle and either reaching out to your family of light that uh, in the non-physical or that you know exists in the physical with you or even some sort of like religious organization um, somehow some way um, also you know I'm just gonna say this here at the very end as I don't feel like this will be a big message to many but what I see with this is some of you are facing an unwanted pregnancy somehow some way whether um, you're a female and you are pregnant or you're a male and you got somebody else pregnant or you're a parent of um, you know a younger person and they're pregnant or they you know they got pregnant again and they they it's just like not what you need right now okay it's like there's a pregnancy that is causing conflict and chaos somehow some way in some cancers lives okay and um just remember this that child no matter which vessel it's coming through is part of your family of light all right and um see it in that essence because i don't feel like we're happy about it like for somehow some way um you know you could be pregnant and happy this would not pertain to you if that's the case this is like a pregnancy where we're not happy about it we're in deep conflict about it and your guides are like this is a part of your soul family just know that before you make any sort of decision it's a part of your soul family okay and see it through those eyes and there will be great abundance a new beginning prosperity the uh, energies will flow and change and everything will be okay in time okay so cancer those are your messages for July in regards to spiritual matters I am wishing you guys a very beautiful month take care